Hello everyone, it's Isaac here, back with another video. And as a lot of people have noticed, Nitrotype has not added anything new to the shop for a while, but I doubt that's going to last forever. They're probably going to add new stuff eventually. So I wanted to make today's video kind of short, but basically talking about how to make your Nitrotype cache last just a little bit longer. This is kind of in addition to how to conserve cache on Nitrotype, which is a full guide to how to save money and not spend money when you don't need it. But this is specifically focusing on the item shop. Now the item shop is very good at sucking money out of your account. If, you're, if you just want to buy everything, you're going to end up spending quite a bit of money. Now, as a lot of people might know, not everyone buys all the stuff, including me. I have plenty of money, I could buy all the stuff if I wanted to, but I don't because I don't see a need. So I'm just going to go over a basic list of criteria on what you can use to keep yourself from buying everything. So first of all, I'm, I don't really have any sort of formal introduction, so we're just going to get right into it. But first of all, if you're not going to use it, just don't buy it. Uh, I bought the Cat Vader sticker. I'm probably never going to use it. That's like my one exception because that's a cool sticker. Um, this is a dealership car I had a while ago. I already had that in the dealership. I bought this because I honestly thought I was going to use it. But if you look at past versions of the shop, there's plenty of stuff I haven't bought, specifically like titles and emojis, or not emojis. Yeah, I think they're called, yeah, stickers, stickers, emojis, whatever you want to call them. Didn't buy them because I just didn't, I wasn't going to use them. Now, obviously this doesn't apply to everyone, because some people do like to collect things. I totally understand that. I'm not like that. Uh, if we go to my customizer, uh, I wish there was an easier way to do this. Go to stickers. Okay, I have a lot of stickers. But trails. Trails is another thing. I don't buy all the trails, as you can see I don't have a ton, because I'm simply not going to use many of them. The only trails I have really are season trails and a few shop trails, but really I'm only going to use a few. Another way to keep yourself from spending is if you really want the item, but maybe you want to stay above a certain threshold of cash, for instance if you just hit like a cash milestone and you don't want to go below that, then I suggest just waiting for it to come to the shop again, because Nitrotype hasn't really been adding too many new things to the shop. So they're probably just going to keep doing reruns, so if you don't get something, or you forget to get something, don't worry, it'll probably come back. Um, another way to know what's going to come in the shop, uh, if you open up the Discord, I'm not going to do that, but if you open up Ace Typer's Discord, and I'll link it in the description, Ace Typer's Discord has a channel called Item Shop. I believe you can get a reaction roll, basically called Item Shop Ping or something like that, or maybe it's at everyone, I don't know. Uh, if you don't know what I'm talking about, Discord, you can, like, mention people and it will ping you. Basically, it mentions you every day, showing what the next day's item shop is going to be. Super helpful. It's really helpful for me because I know if there's going to be new content that I want to get, then I'll remember to get on. If not, I'll just ignore it. That's not really like saving you cash, but it's saving you time. So I hope you all enjoyed today's kind of short video about just how to conserve your cash in the item shop. Um, if you like the sort of content, it'd be great if you could like the video. Maybe even consider subscribing. We are very close to 60 subscribers at the time of recording the video. And yeah, I think that'll be it for today. Thank you all for watching, stay healthy, and I will see you all in the next video.